say, did I catch a live? And yes, you did. Hold on, somebody is at the building. Um, Listen, how y'all doing? I appreciate y'all joining the players. Say, Detroit is in there. Say, hey, Sugar, the 912. Savannah, Georgia's in the house. One more again. Say, money is this thing. That's what's up. Say, hey, Sugars. That's what's happening. Listen, I appreciate y'all for joining the player. Say, ready for service. Pass it to 414. It's in the, the 954. It's sneaking the peak while at work. Listen, if y'all got the high from your supervisors, go ahead on and do what need to be done while y'all watch a player. Just don't get caught. Just don't get caught now. You know what I'm saying? Say, come on, y'all. Let's get the lights up, Pastor Wood. Yes, y'all. Get the lights up as you come on in. That, that, that way I don't have to repeat myself. Say, tapping in from the 813 Tampa, Florida. Pastor, bring that fire. I'm fin too. That's what we finna do around here. The Bronx, New Yorkers in this pit. Say, what's popping, Pastor? Say, let's get these 30 minutes of fire. That's what's up. YouTube on time in these streets today. I appreciate YouTube for that right there. The 540 is in the house. I appreciate that right there. Say, what's up, Willie? Say, tapping in with your fam from West Los Angeles. 323 is in the building. The 614. Him this bitch. In this bitch. That, that's what's up. Shout out to Alpha King K all the way from Baltimore, Maryland. All right now. All right now. Say, damn it, we live. New John. Um, you can share like, hold up, hold up, swole up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we drop frames? Is that what we did? Is that what it's saying? We still up. All right, all right. The 704, What? what's that? It's showing I'm dropping more frames. What is going on? What is going on? But I'm still alive. That's what's up. Okay. Let's start it all over. Oh, oh, wait. Shout out to my beautiful grandparents, Ruth and Joseph, all the way from St. Louis, Missouri. That's what's up. They caught a lie today, starting off right to 901 members in the building. Listen, again, I am Willie Williams. Premium, go right to the Williamshow.com. Y'all check out a few things if you'd like to support a player from the website. You can click on the gear link, pick up something for you and your children, or you and your significant other, or your side dude. Side dude, side chick, do whatever you feel. Um, if you'd like to see what we call the event video, click around to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. If you'd like to support the machine, as we say around here, um, you can watch, share, thumbs up. We got up and down, up and down, dollar sign, Willie Williams Show. That's the cash out. We do got a PayPal link in the description. If you just need, if you just so happen to need to use Super Chat, please do not do over $5 because I have no idea if I get that paper and it's, I don't know if I get the $5. So um, I appreciate that right there. Let's get the likes up so we go on and get into the midday show. The 909 is in the building. Say thank you, Brother Deacon. Oh, all right, all right, I encourage them. Shout out to the ATL Unanimous Boxing Sports for becoming a member at the Willie Williams Show Live. That's what's up. I appreciate that. And if y'all want to become a member, if anybody want to become a member, there is a join button. You can become a member. Let's go ahead on and get into the news I here um it's a lot it's a lot we got going on um we know what's happening overseas and stuff like that right there but i saw a video to where there there's there's an american citizen an american citizen who said that he is preparing to go over and fight with the ukrainian citizens here we go a 62-year-old Detroit man is preparing to travel to Ukraine to fight. Victor Williams spoke to him today. Uh, Victor, does he have ties then to Ukraine? Yes, he does have some ties, but he wants everyone to know that he is not a warmonger. He's just going to help the people that really need it right now. All of Ukraine is a uh, war zone, so to speak. So I'm going there to kind of help the Ukrainians defend their homeland. Detroiter Dr. M. Dijon Johnson says in just a few days he'll be on the front lines fighting the war against Russia. So far, he's already ordered a Kevlar helmet and black jacket and all the other necessities. This Wednesday, the 62-year-old will be flying to Amsterdam and then to Poland. From there, he plans to travel to Ukraine and immediately join the battle. I get real-time information from Ukraine, from my contacts here, and they're really, really suffering. A small acts of kindness. Members pray for him at Church of the King in downtown Berkeley. Right now, perfect the things that are imperfect in him, Father. And Father, we know that he is your child in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the opportunity that he has to go and to do what you call him to in Jesus' name. Some Ukrainians even showed their gratitude. Pastor Tal Sullivan says their prayer requests are simple. We're praying for protection and God's provision, and we're inviting God to 
to come and, and use them as he wants. Dr. Johnson has a military background serving with the Army. He also already spent two years in Ukraine working at a university. My job from 2018 to 2020 was to train university professors and uh, graduate students on bringing transparency and democracy to the classroom. Who would have figured um, I would be putting that to practice? I don't plan on coming back with a, uh, a red, white, and blue, or, uh, blue and yellow uh, flag over a box. So I'm coming right back here in Detroit and uh, hopefully make Detroit better like we all do. He don't plan on coming back in the box with a flag over it. That's what's up. But listen, nobody plans on coming back from war in a box. But to each his own, do exactly what you feel, and he feel like this is something that he should do. He say he fighting, or he wanna fight for the people who really, really need it. And they say that he is from Detroit. <sighs> Shout out to Latonya for the $2 cash app. Say the two two dying cotton feel in these streets. I appreciate that right there. Look here, he say we fight because people, the people who need help. And I just want to say, I think the people in Detroit need some help too. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, like you can do what you want to do. That this is just my opinion. Your people in the five, 10, 15, 20 mile radius, they need help too. Maybe, maybe your way of helping cannot help in Detroit. So, hell, it's a good thing you're going over there doing exactly what you want to do, help out people with the skills that you have when you go on over there. I saw it on Instagram, and you know the internet do not play. The internet have been going in on him. Whoo, because of the little incident, well, I don't want to say little incident. We saw video and or um um we saw photos like a week ago or something where darker hue people was having a hard time getting on a train and or escaping the war area. And now, you know, Dog, you folks was upset about that right there and, and, and talking about the racism and things that's over in Ukraine. So people that came down on, on this gentleman saying there's really something wrong with your player. That, that, that's, that's what they say. That ain't what I say. I say you should be able to live your best life out here, do exactly what you want to do. You can fight whatever fight you want to fight. You is an adult. Don't let nobody discourage you. Don't let nobody discourage you from enjoying life. Make your decisions. It's the same thing that we talk about on STD Friday. Make your own decisions. Stop following other people's morals. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that, that's something that we don't condone on a Friday is following other people's morals. No, 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 no. Live your best life once you die, you're dead. That's what's up. And I hope, whoo, I hope nobody come back to the great United States of America in a box we have hope we got to move it right along um so taking the chance the ukrainians may shoot him on purpose just to see if the u.s will help them with this fight since he is united states property that's a good point in case folk don't understand what the united states property is is because he's a u.s citizen and he's military Moving right along, we got to go on to get into this. An incident happened at a schoolhouse. One more again. But, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is about a coach. This is about a coach. A coach who grabbed a student, found with loaded guns, claimed self-defense. Y'all understood what I had just said right there? They trying to get rid of a coach who found loaded guns. And watch why. Watch it. Look, 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 look. Oh, late. there you go. Tonight, supporters have rallied around a local coach who is facing possible suspension. Tri-Cities coach Kenneth Miller found a gun in a student's book bag in August. But it's what happened during that confrontation that now has the school district pursuing disciplinary action. 
Fox Eyes Deidre Dukes joins us live from Tri-Cities High School in East Point. And Deidre, you spoke with the coach and the people supporting him. Say, Willie, I'd be at work on the Fort Lift watching and listening and watching my 12 and 3, 6, and my 9. I appreciate that right there. Y'all, let's get the thumbs up popping. Shout out to Mary for the $15 cash app. I appreciate you. Here we go. That's right. The coach said he saved lives that day, and his supporters call him a hero. But schools or six officials say he crossed the line when he put his hands on a student. Oh, that's what happened. An internal investigation conducted by the Fulton County School District found police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's account of the August 20th incident involving a student in possession of a loaded gun at Tri-Cities High School. We were on our way to an outdoor pep rally that day and we got noticed that the kids were planning on doing something at the pep rally. The athletic director says the school principal called into her office that day and told him to investigate reports that some students had guns on campus. And throughout during that process, we located guns. They located guns. The students were planning some and they located guns because they got the tip. And we saved lives. But Coach Miller is facing possible suspension because of a confrontation with an unidentified student who it was later confirmed had one of the guns in her book bag. One of the guns in her book bag. Things turned physical when the coach confronted the girl. She smacked Coach Miller's hands, knocking his phone to the floor. That's when Miller says he grabbed the girl, fearing for his own safety and others. The coach's supporters call him a hero. I'm okay with him standing up for those children. What I'm not okay with is him being railroaded. Thank you. Because at the end of the day, teachers are put in very uncompromising positions to take care of our children. But the school district wants to take disciplinary action because he admitted grabbing the student. Because he admitted grabbing the student. You see the video the way he grabbed the student there. But just like you said, the student... The student hit him first. The internal investigation found Miller's conduct was unprofessional in violation of both the Fulton County Schools Board Policy and Georgia Professional Standard Commission's Code of Ethics for Georgia educators. Miller's attorney says the district first moved to terminate him and then changed course and now wants a 20-day suspension. Miller says all teachers should have the right to defend themselves. Teachers are put in a very, very precarious situation when they have to defend against guns or defend against students that are going to attack them. Now the coach is fighting suspension. He says he is eager to return to work. I like her low cut. Her low cut tight, ain't it? Um, but listen, look, 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 look. They, they was going to fire him. The one who helped save the day because he put his hands on a student. One of the same students who had a gun that bought the gun to school to harm possibly, possibly other students and staff. What, 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 what's going on in Georgia? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Say they gave the security guard, hold on, hold on, hold on. They gave the security guard for doing nothing at a school shooting when he did something, he is still getting in trouble. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Make your mind up out here. Say, um, 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 I heard some, some, I saw like two other articles about Brittany Griner. I might talk about that right there tomorrow if I can find the things that I had done. Um, read out here. But listen, let's run it back real quick. Suspension. Tri-Cities coach Kenneth Miller found a gun in a student's book bag in August. But it's what happened during that confrontation that now has the school district pursuing disciplinary action. Fox Eyes Deidre Dukes joins us live from Tri-Cities High School in East Point. And Deidre, you spoke with the coach and the people supporting him. That's right. The coach said he saved lives that day and his supporters call him a hero. But schools or six officials say he crossed the line when he put his hands on a student. Cro I want y'all to really understand this right here. Um, I crossed the line because I done grabbed somebody who hit me. And that's what's up. Um, but y'all more focused on me grabbing a student. R remind you, a student who bought a gun to school. If I wouldn't have did nothing at all, which is found the gun, 
or guns as plural, then y'all would have said that we not own our job. An internal investigation conducted by the Fulton County School District found police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's account of the August 20th incident. I'm going to tell y'all why he went through any of this right here. Because that's a female. It don't look like one. That looked like a whole boy. But maybe because of the cameras blurry and it, we really can't see. Fulton County School District. Look like a police body cam video and eyewitnesses confirmed Kenneth Miller's. Why is a female acting in this nature? Why? Count of the August 20th incident involving us. She ain't been taught properly about putting your hands on a adult because society don't hold them responsible for putting their hands on adults. Student in possession of a loaded gun at Tri Cities High School. We were on our way to an outdoor pep rally that day, and we got noticed that the kids were planning on doing something at the pep rally. Shout out to the students who said something about what was going to happen. Say, Willie, I sent you the video of our lighter hue brother popping his neighbor in, in in the snow a few times. I haven't seen it even on Patreon. Oh, sh I'm going to have to look that right up. I appreciate that. The athletic director says the school principal called him to her office that day and told him to investigate reports that some students had guns on campus. And throughout during that process, we located guns. We located guns guns but because that's a female student because listen if it was a male student there would have been consequences but because it's a female i promise you this is why they were trying to go so hard shout out to la la 200 live for the four dollar super chat i appreciate you and we say lies but coach miller is facing possible suspension because of a confrontation with an unidentified student who it was later confirmed had one of the guns in her book bag. <laughs> Things turned physical when the coach confronted the girl. Because they think that they boys. Society got them thinking that they boys out here in these streets. That's why you see, and it's a disrespect of dog you players anyway that's going on out here. They have no respect for male figures they have no respect <laughs> especially for darker hue players they don't it's a problem out here and i just want to say shout out to the community for backing him up hold on hold on let me let me yeah huh talk that man talk. A hero i'm okay with him standing up for those children what i'm not okay with is him being railroaded because thank you listen listen if because of what he did he 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 if it has to be consequences, suspend them for a week. I, I, I put a player on vacation. It's nothing. If you just have to do something. But you have to look at the overall. The overall, they saved lives that day. He should get an award. All, all of the staff that was involved should get some type of award or something. They should be praised out here. And they should have grabbed more children than that. Bringing guns to school, trying to harming people. Now, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. I wonder if they're going to say something about the student that he grabbed, who he found the gun. I wonder if that person going to be expelled and um, sent to prison. You bring a gun to school, you need to be put on vacation, vacation. You need to be put at the, you need to go to the resort. That's the jails or the prison. You putting lives in danger. And again, as soon as it would have popped off, they would have been questioning staff. Why, was, why wasn't y'all paying attention? I promise you that. This is a big problem. This is a real, real big problem. So basically, what you're telling staff to do is don't do nothing. Or, or, or do something, just don't put your hands on one of these good churn. That's what you're telling people, huh? That's what's up. Listen, we got to move on. We got to move on. We looking real good right here. Listen, we got to get the likes up over 250. That's what we need. Remember, the likes, cash app, 
PayPal, Super Chat. I appreciate it all. I need your support. Every single day, I need your support. Thumbs up. I need your support. Shout out to I, I love, I, Aya, Aya Valentine Brown. I appreciate the $5 super chat. Say preach. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm, I'm my, my bad. I appreciate y'all. Look here. Moving right along. I ain't, I ain't trying to hold you too, too long. Shout out to Mr. Curtis for the $7.75 cash out. Say, Coach should have slapped some act right into it. I'm trying to take, all right. I, I would have been fine because I ain't playing with these teenagers. I ain't playing with these teenagers. You get your house shot up playing around with these teenagers. I'm trying to tell you something. Listen. We got to move you right along to um, an incident that transpired in a McDonald's from an angry customer. Y'all pay attention. Went yeah. over a counter at a McDonald's and attacked an employee all because her order was wrong. Good evening and thanks for joining us on Fox 5 News at Jet 11. I'm Alex Whitler. Police say it happened at the store on Ashford Dunwoody Road and that's near Perimeter Mall. News Edge reporter Eric Perry caught up with the worker who was injured. There's something irresistible about the golden arches, but Dunwoody police say McDonald's should never make you want to make fight. <laughs> should never make you want to make fight. I like it. I forgive her, you know? I forgive her just mm. next time think before you do something. We blurred this woman's face, but she says she was attacked by the woman in this video inside McDonald's Wednesday. Because I was in the kitchen, I was, you know, um, all I hear is yelling, th like throwing stuff. So I go check and see what's going on. I grab my phone. I start recording what's going on. The kerfuffle started when police say this woman, 35-year-old Rain Hart, was upset when her order was wrong at the store near Perimeter Mall. It was getting so upset to the point that I had to tell the lady, can you please calm down? Like, we'll give you your food. Just calm down. And, um... Then she started saying, I'm going to start with you calling me a letter B. According to the employee, Hart went from sizzling to frying mad. She leaped over the counter and attacked the female employee. She actually took some of my hair off. She left my neck in pain, and I don't remember if she actually kicked my thigh, but my thigh is injured too. The incident report shows the 35-year-old woman who told police she was homeless also threw objects on the ground and was mad because managers told her she could not wash her clothes in the restroom sink. I'm mad. You mean to tell me you got mad because staff told you this is not a wash house. This is not a laundromat, a laundry mat you cannot wash in our bathroom. I had an upset because I never disrespected her. I never told her or called her a B word. All I said was, can you please calm down? Like, because we're in front of, like, customers. The woman was arrested and charged with disorderly conduct and battery. This employee says this comes at a time where restaurants are short-staffed and workers are worn thin. To stop treating us like that, and this is why restaurants are always short-staffed, because people like that and don't want to work in fast food, you know? And Dunwoody police say if she was unhappy with the quarter pounder of cheese she ordered here, she'll really be unhappy with the meal she served in jail. And Dunwoody, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. I'll put it right there. Listen, little, little. <laughs> A quarter pounder with cheese and y'all made it wrong. Like I've said several times, y'all better get people orders right. Whatever you do, please get people orders right or they'll jump across the counter and handle you. About them one, two, three, four, five dollars. Well, hell, a quarter pounder by six six dollars right now, huh? And and she homeless. A lot of times it's hard to come up with that money. And you made the order wrong. So I can't watch clothes in here. And y'all can't get my order right. This is a problem. Shout out to Passion for the $5 cash out. Say, hey, Passer, just tapping the collection plate. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I got something else to point out real it quick. It happened at the store on Ashford Dunwoody Road, and that's near Perimeter Mall. Oh, she looks young. That's what's up. Oh. News Edge reporter Eric Perry caught up with the worker who was injured. There's something irresistible about the golden arches, but Dunwoody police say McDonald's should never make you want to make fight. I forgive her, you know? I forgive her just next time think before you do something. She did think, baby. 
She did think, I can't wash my clothes and y'all cannot make a double quarter pounder with cheese. I love them. I just ain't ate them about five, six, seven, ten, ten years, something like that. But I'm good. You know what I'm saying? It's, oh, Jesus, they're so good. Um, I can't wash clothes and y'all don't know how to make a sandwich. Yep, I'm going to jump across this counter. I'm mad mad. We blurred this yeah. woman's face, but she said she was. This is what I want to point out. Y'all, y'all be blurring out faces. Stuff. Next time thing before you do something. We blur. We kind of listen. If we go to that store, we kind of going to know who, who she is. I promise you we're going to put two and two or three and three together. And we're going to figure out, oh, girl, that according to the blur, and we can see the outline of you. And you the only one in McDonald's that looked like this right there. That's you, baby. That's this woman's up. face, but she says she was attacked by the woman in this video inside McDonald's Wednesday. Because I was in the kitchen. I was, you know, mm -hmm. um, all I hear is yelling, th like throwing stuff. So I go yeah. check and see what's going on. I grab my phone. I start recording what's going on. The kerfuffle started when police say, oh, beautiful, baby. That's old beauty. That baby just having hard times right now. A lot of people is 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 homeless. A lot of people is homeless. A lot of times it's not their fault. Shout out to Lucy for the ten dollar cash out. Say keep the shows coming, Willie. I, I appreciate that right there. I'm we trying to keep it up. I just need the support. I just need the support, and I need to continue to be pushed out here in these streets. Here we go. This woman, 35-year-old Rain Hart. 35-year-old is hard out here in the street, man. Was upset when her order was wrong at the store near Perimeter yeah. Mall. It was getting so upset to the point that I had to tell the lady, can you please come down? That 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 don't work, baby, <laughs> as you see. But you didn't, you didn't know ahead of time. You can't tell people to calm down. You... Oh, hell no. You, you is an employee. Say this poor monkey management. Yes, it is. You is an employee dealing with the babies out in the community. It don't work like that, baby. T tell us somebody to stop being mad. Who is you? You not my mama? You can't just tell me that. Like, we'll give you your food. Just calm down. And um, then she started saying, I'm going to start with you calling me a letter B. According. Yes, yes, she did. Baby, just remember from here on out, just watch 2836 and yo nine. And um, if you have any other incidents of this magnitude, Willie say hush. When they start arguing about a situation and you realize what the situation is, it's a burger that's made wrong, make two. Don't open your mouth. Just tell whoever back there cooking, give me two of those. Let me just, just give me two of those real quick. Don't don't talk to the per. Give me two of them. Bag it up. Walk to the counter. Thank you, ma'am. That's all you need to say. All that, all that, ma'am. You need to calm down, and we're gonna get uh uh. You trying to control the baby? Nope, nope. It will never work out for you. I'm just saying. I'm trying to help. Moving right along, we got to take it to the O. I, I, mean, I think this, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to take it to the O. Um, Orange County. Somebody got to tell our light of you, brothers. Um, don't play with law enforcement. Don't, 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 don't. You really shouldn't play with law enforcement. Um, shout out to Royal Count, um, Crown Kings for the $2 super chat. Say she looked like a ninja turtle. Boy, that wild right there. Look here. An incident that happens with OC sheriffs in um 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 in in Central Florida at a Walmart. This is an incident to where um a customer got shot in the head. Here we go. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Woo! Wow, yeah. deputies trying to get an accused fraud suspect out of an Orange County Walmart store. Open fire when he grabs a gun. Investigators say the voice you heard on that video yelling he's got a gun, shoot him, shoot him, was a civilian trying to help the deputies detain the suspect. Take online Orange County reporting Michelle Geely has more of that video. It was a civilian saying shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. 
Newly released Orange County Sheriff's body cam footage shows the struggle between deputies and an armed man. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Shut up! And then the officer involved shooting, which happened at the Walmart in Foothill Ranch in January. Officials say the deputies came after employees made a 911 call needing help at the store. A couple allegedly tried to pass a fraudulent receipt to... Yeah. Cosmo got shot, though. ...deal expensive electronics. So we can do this civilly? Initially, the interaction with the suspects was cordial. Yeah, the receipt right there? Yeah. Okay, stop stealing. Let's go. I don't do this. You're like 40 years old and you're still stealing, dude. You say you're like 40 years old and you're still stealing? Around here, we call that poor meat management. Get a job. Let's go. Get a job. Get, get a job. Seconds later, the deputy facing the suspect points out that he has a knife. Uh -oh. As the arresting deputy spots the suspect's hand on the weapon, he attempts to handcuff him. Look, dude, you're, you're making this hard on yourself. Stop resisting my partner. The man, identified as 30-year-old Ernest Aguilar, who had outstanding warrants, resists. As three deputies wrestle with Aguilar, a civilian steps in to try and help. They all fall to the ground. That's when a gun is spotted in the suspect's hand. He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! him! Four, six, three. Shots fired, shots fired. The suspect was shot in the head, but he survived. Shot him in the head. I hear playing. He was hospitalized and has now been moved to the jail where, among other things, he's charged with three counts of assault with a deadly weapon on a peace officer. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, KCAM 9 News. So you done got shot in the head and you at the resort now. You have been arrested. Shout out to Defense Sim for the $2 super chat. Say, y'all support Uncle Willie. Say, a couple dollars don't hurt. I'm trying to tell you something. I appreciate that right there. You say, hey, Willie, the 801 Salt Lake City, Utah, is back in this mother for 30 minutes. A five inch watch, your 12, your three, your six, and your nine. Say, a lot of yous don't care about that. Listen, we're trying to save lives around here. We're trying to help y'all make it to the mar. But sometimes you're hard headed. He's got a gun! Listen, listen, listen. Shout out to the customer for noticing he got a gun. He helped that law enforcement. He should get like a purple heart. Well, not, 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 not a purple heart. Um, he should get some some type of accommodation or some like free food from Walmart for like a week or something like that. Mm -mm. He should get something because he noticed the threat. Right at that moment, that saved lives. He helped save lives. Yeah, he got shot in the head. Supposed to. Shout out to law enforcement for doing their job for saving lives. For saving lives. So he had a knife and a gun. He brought both of them to the fight. And he lost. Wow. Deputies trying wow. to get... That's deep. So listen. Stop playing with law enforcement. Let let them do their job. If you're stealing, don't get caught. I just want to say that right there. You, you, you. Oh, man, we got to do better. And like the officers say, you need to get a job out here in these street. which, which, which. A lot of times it's easy to tell people to get jobs. It's easy. A lot of people, they are struggling trying to find jobs, even though they say that there's a lot of jobs. I think for last month, they say that they, um, that we, us, the great United States of America has, um, made what? 700,000 jobs for last month or something like that. And I just want to say when people throw out that, that high, that high number of jobs being created and stuff like that, they, they typically is low end jobs. Can we, can we just be honest? I don't think it's nothing like over, over 30, 30,000 or so. I don't think it's like a lot, like over 50,000 or so. You know what I'm saying? The 717 is in the building. I appreciate you for being here. Shout out to Zachary for the $20 cash up. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. We got to move this news right along. This is the midday news in case you're just catching it right now. I am Willie Williams. Go ahead and subscribe to everything that I do. I told y'all. We doing a whole bunch of things for likes and subscribers and attention. Well, we got a YouTube. 
We got a YouTube couple. A YouTube couple is charged with staying overnight in a Pennsylvania Target. I couldn't believe it. Here we go. And now to a story you're seeing first on Fox. A couple is facing felony charges for hiding inside of a Chester County Target store overnight, all for their YouTube channel. Kelly Rule live with their video and the surveillance video that got them in trouble. Kelly. When I tell you that we gonna have to start damn near dying and bringing ourselves back to get like a whole bunch of views and shit. <laughs> this thing is going too far. Shout out to Tawana for the three dollar cash app. Say for the laughs. I appreciate you for watching. Yes, I do. Here we go, y'all. Well, Jason, I'll admit it. I too have been guilty of spending way too much time in Target, but police say this couple mm. took it way too far. And while they might not have meant any harm, they say what they did was illegal and they don't want it to happen again. A sleepover in a retail store. Wow. Yep, that's what some YouTube couples are up to these days, apparently. And West Whiteland Township police are not having it. Think about, you know, are the police going to be called for what we're doing? Two that's weeks ago, thought. police say they got a call for an alarm at 3 a.m. at the Exton Target off Route 100. Can we get the lights up? Over 350. Can y'all work with me? Please work with me. Officers searched the building and didn't find anything. But the next day, police say Target employees found this surveillance video showing 25-year-old Johnson LaRose and 24-year-old Charlotte Fisher wandering around the store for hours after they closed with phones out. They don't take anything. It became a, you know, a little bit bigger investigation trying to find out what they were doing. Was there something criminal? Turns out Johnson and Fisher are also saucy and honey, police say. Saucy and honey, <laughs> Shout out to saucy and honey them. I'm going to have to go to their YouTube channel. And the couple go. documented the whole thing on YouTube for their roughly 17,000 followers, calling it the 24-hour overnight challenge in Target. And despite... 17,000 followers, call it the overnight stay at a target telling followers they stayed all night police say they left through an emergency exit at 3 a.m so thank you thank you listen listen we be lying we be lying a lot of times pay attention they say 24 hours <laughs> shit they left at three you know what I'm saying? Police say they left through an emergency exit at 3 a.m., setting off the alarm, and came back at 8 a.m. the next day. Regardless, mm. police say it involved their resources and could have ended badly. And officers are searching in this dark store, and suddenly at 3 o'clock in the morning come upon somebody. That's not, not a great situation for anybody. Can you talk about the, the Target situation? The what? The Target sleepover? <laughs> the tar he laugh. Shit funny. Shit funny. Listen, 24 and 25 years old, listen. The young folk done lost their damn mind. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all gonna get yourself hurt out here, man. I Target sleepover? Oh, boy, you are talking about. You don't know what I'm talking about. It's on YouTube. Now facing criminal trespassing and conspiracy charges for 1,600 views as of Wednesday afternoon. They did it and got 1,600 views. Do y'all understand that shit is disappointing? It's disappointing. You did all that for 1,600 views and now you got a case against you for 1,600 views. Saucy and Honey told me there won't be any more retail overnighters in PA and then asked me to subscribe to their channel before leaving in a Tesla. Oh, such a lovely couple. And they they driving the Tesla. They got that money. Charge. I mean, um, no regrets, you know, just living life and having fun. It's kind of sad that all this came out of yeah. it, but... We were expecting a fine, nothing crazy, nothing crazy but... like this. Well, these charges. It's deep. Just having fun. Now you taking up resources. You taking resources from people who possibly would need those resources, as in police protection or um, police personnel going to deal with something that was real serious. They got to come to Target and realize this stuff is about YouTube. <laughs> we don't care. We play too much. Some I will continue to say we would do anything to get these likes and these views and these, I'm trying to tell you, we will do it. Don't get it twisted. There's something that we will do. Hold up. Um, um, I had something I'm, I'm, uh, Okay, we can do that right there for manana because they want to be there for more. We can move it right along. That's what we're going to do. Oh, wait, 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 Ram. Oh, all right. 
This is a great one here. Remember yesterday or or was it yesterday? I was talking about people people getting scammed. People out here in these streets were getting um, um, scammed for housing situations, renting and all that fly stuff right there. Let me take you, take you to the A, because I think this happened in Atlanta. Y'all got to be careful when y'all rent from people, man. People is not who they're saying that they are, but there is ways to find out if people is on the up and up. You say, let me do the math. 1,600 views, that about $7.85. <laughs> Well, finding a house or an apartment to rent can put you in the crosshairs of a scam with little inventory and lots of interest. Scammers hope to rush your decision so you ignore red flags. Box 5 I team's Dana Fowles spoke with a young man taken for nearly $2,000. Paid it for him, Dana. I know, but I'm so glad he reached out to us so we could tell you, and that was his goal. Raphael Webster, you're about to meet him. He has a new baby. He works full time. He's got a tight budget in a very expensive city. But he found something in Decatur. It was perfect. Or so he thought. Ooh. I was, I was, man, I can't even explain it. I was loving it. I had a home, a home um, warming, housewarming party. He had a whole housewarming party. To, oh, in case y'all don't know what that right is. People come around and stuff. We cook and stuff like that. And you're supposed to bring gifts. You're supposed to help out people. Here we go. Everybody came by, brought gifts and everything. It was real nice, man. And with the new baby, making a home in a safe neighborhood was important to Raphael Webster. Was the price right? Yes, ma'am. I thought it was a good deal. <laughs> what was the deal? How much was it? $1,000 a month, $1,700 pay down payment. Realtor Alex Wilkinson huh. manages the property. I listed on a Monday, and I had 130 inquiries that day. When I tell you there's a shortage of of, of a place to live, we didn't talk about this here last week, I think, and a week before, or something like that right now. But um, there's a shortage. There is a real shortage. So this is a real crisis that we are seeing and that we is living through. So just pay attention. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. And he rented this Decatur home, but not to Raphael. When we got there, we opened the front door and walked in, and there was furniture there, and somebody was living in the property. Shout out to Lisa for becoming a member. I appreciate you. Yes, I do. I've been in here at least a week before they came. Wow. Raphael discovered that day he'd been scammed. He told us what he told police investigators, that he found an ad for the home online, called the number, then went to see the property. Alex Wilkinson, the realtor, said, Weird. This has happened to him twice in a month. Wow. He said in both cases, the home had a self-touring lockbox. He says he doesn't use these any longer on his rentals because of the scam potential. You get the rentals key by uploading your ID to an app to prove who you are, and then you get a code to access the house key in the box. And then you're in. So what these uh, con artists are doing is they're going on that website, they're finding out which properties have these boxes, and then they're running ads for these properties, and then they're telling the um, potential tenant to remove the key from the lockbox once they've wired the money. Often the new renter is paid, has a key now, and moves in before realizing they've been taken for thousands of dollars. Raphael Webster now recognizes the red flags, non-traceable payment, using wire or money transfers, even payment apps. Yep. He also never met the man who said he owned the property. Mm. All the business was done on the phone. The fact that I never met him was kind of a red flag, but he used the, like the pandemic. And the price was too- He used the pandemic as, as an excuse of why we can't meet face to face. Good, well below market value. And he never cross-checked the listing, which means simply Googling the address to see if there are multiple listings. If he had, he would have found the real, more expensive ad. Don't wire anybody money unless you've met them or you've verified they are who they say they are. Right there. You don't mess, you, you don't send nobody no paper. You ain't seen them. Damn it. You damn near got to take pictures with each other. Listen, listen, let's post up from Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tanisha for the $5 super chat. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Say he must be new to the ATL Decatur because of because a one bedroom apartment is, is over 1100 My son paid 1400 for a two bedroom apartment. Yeah, see, see, and that's why they said if he would have cross-checked, 
but to say cross check don't always work. Yep, yeah, 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 you're absolutely right. We just got to do some more investigation. We got to. Now, Raphael tells me that Alex, the realtor, was so nice to him about this whole thing and understood and gave him some time to find a new place. But let me, let me, shout out to Latonya for the $2 cash. I say, remember, Clayton County is not Atlanta. You absolutely correct then. Go ahead. The realtor tells me he stopped using these sort of show yourself in boxes because of the scam potential because you know, there's a backlog in evictions and the next person might not be as compliant about moving along. At least. Yeah, maybe not. OK, so it really does seem, though, Dana, that uh, Googling the address could be a quick and easy way to, to find out if it's a scam, right? Sometimes it can. Sometimes it can't. Say so got to buy a house. Don't have to worry about rental increases. We've been speaking about this, too. Now, it's so hard to find houses. And once you find the house, people are spending, yep, they they overpaying 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, $80,000. It's 20 to 30 people for one property now. You know, it, it, this thing has gotten real, real difficult for a lot of people. Shout out to Lanita for the $3 cash up. I appreciate that right there. Here we go. You know, I did that. I had a house on the market a couple of years ago and I immediately put in the search engine my address and I mean, within 24 hours, my home for sale was a rental. So it was a scam immediately. Um, all you got to do is search it, search the address, see how many times it pops up, mm -hmm. see who it's connected to. It's so easy. Worth doing that to save yourself money, time, all yeah. of that. Goodness gracious. Wow. All right. All of it. Thank you for the help. We appreciate it. Yep, they'll say $1,400 a month for, for an efficiency apartment. Let's Depends on what state you're in, boy. That efficiency could be two, $3,000. Maybe even four. Depends on where you're at. I'm just saying. But listen, to, to not get scammed, at least meet the person. Do not do that little transfer of the uh-uh. Go go back to the old school. Do some money orders or something. Do some money orders or something. Don't trust nobody. Don't you trust nobody out here in these streets. Everybody is not who they say that they is or everybody who is not who they claim that they is. And, 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 like they say, look around. <laughs> Do your research. Go on the internet, which we also know. Hold on, hold on. I did the wrong thing. Which, which we also know, sometimes it don't have the proper information. Everything on on the internet is not real, y'all. I thought it was, y'all. I, I promise you, I thought you cannot put nothing fake on the internet. <laughs> it's just a joke. Listen, moving right along. Let's go on and get into the main event. We coming down the wire right now. Say, 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 say dozens, dozens was evicted or has been evicted. Dozens evicted out of a Super 8 motel in Clayton County, which is not Atlanta. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put up on the screen. It's two videos. We, 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 we is going to look at this problem. Here you go. At 11, dozens of families abruptly evicted from a Fulton County motel. Officials say it was operating without a permit. Well, it's happening at the Super 8 Motel in College Park. It is the same place where a man was found shot dead in the parking lot earlier this week. See, is College Park, Atlanta? Mm. It's 46's Patrick Quinn joins us live outside that Super 8 tonight. And Patrick, where will those people sleep tonight? Well, many still don't know. I asked them that very question and you could see their eyes start to wander, trying to figure it out in real time, for it was only today that they were told they got to go. Mm. They went to the last minute and didn't tell us we got to go at one o'clock today. This is what becoming homeless looks like. Lavonia Fennell told me she hopes to stay at another hotel, but may have to sleep on the street. She needs more money and eyes nearby cars driving by. On my ass. Just ask random. Is one of She's just going to ask random people for some money. Do the majority of us do not know what it is to 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 instantly become homeless. 
Said so College Park ain't Atlanta from what I hear. Okay. For dozens. We watched pack up their lives at the same hotel where a man was found dead earlier this week. Security guards went door to door telling people to leave. You got people that have been here for years. You got families, here, kids, everything. Like people actually live here. So. We got families here. People have been at a Super 8. We're going to get into it for years. They didn't have no second option. So why is this happening? Because the Super 8 was operating without a permit. The College Park is not Atlanta, okay. <laughs> and the county and the city of College Park are investigating code violations. Hotel management, who would not talk to me on camera, said those violations stem from a fire in December. But a 2021 inspection report published before the fire cited repeated violations of live insects in multiple rooms and dirty or damaged walls and furniture. Mm. My room rang in my bathroom. I showed that to the health inspector when they came. But what frustrates Martez Dukes the most? Super 8 was running a business when it didn't have a permit. Hmm. Martez showed me this $60 bill he paid last Thursday, two days after the Board of Health cited the Super 8 for operating without a permit. A Fulton County spokesperson told me, quote, a permit must be obtained before the facility can legally operate as a tourist accommodation. Until then, everyone must go. Ready or not. And again, I did reach out to management here at the Super 8. They declined to talk to me on camera, but told me that they only received that citation for operating a business without a permit this morning. That's when they told residents they have to leave. They stress they believe they're following the guidelines set forth by the city and the county. I asked to see that citation. They declined to show it to me. Big picture, they told me they plan on restoring this hotel, reopening it with a permit. Live in College Park, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News. That's what's up. <clears throat> Say, if you, can get a, if you can get you a CDL and set your life up, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Shout out to all my truckers out here in these streets. Listen. That they were told <clears throat> they got to go. They went to the last minute and then tell us we got to go at 1 o'clock today. That's so sad. That's so sad when you have been paying the bill as you should be paying paying your bill, and now you got to go. Not your fault, though. All y'all just became homeless immediately. That's a real problem out here. There should have been something that could have been done that day instead of putting people out. Just in my mind, something could should have been able to be done. Damn, listen, can we run down to the county building or some and pay it? You know what I'm saying? Damn, we we oh, we slacking right now. We need a permit. Or oh, hell, the sheriffs, whoever came down to the super eight, should have said, "Listen, your permit. You don't have a permit, so it's gonna cost you. We got a new permit for you." if you want to go ahead on and pay for it now. So we need two checks. That way people could have stayed in their rooms. So you can become anything with a CDL, with them CDLs. <laughs> Listen, why they didn't think about doing it like that? Why is it the first move is, oh, you got to go. Yeah, y'all get these likes up over 500. Work with me. Work with me. Shout out to Ted for the $25 cash up. I appreciate that right there. Yes, I do. Why they got to just put people out instead of trying to find a workaround that day? Remember, she said, they told us at 1 o'clock we got to go. The county builders don't be closing until like 4.35 o'clock. We got time, baby. This is what becoming homeless looks like. Lavonia Fennell told me she hopes to stay at another hotel, but may have to sleep on the street. She needs more money and eyes nearby cars driving by. My ass. She need more money because she can go to another hotel. She just don't have enough money tonight. I need to ask some people for money so I can go to a hotel tonight. Just ask random. Lavonia is just ask random. What, what else can you do? Excuse me. Shout out to Marnelli. Marnelli for the $5 cash out. Say Beats Fire 203 Records. Uh oh, Be Beats Fire 203 Records. I appreciate that right there. Here we go, One of dozens. We watched pack up their lives at this. Look at all that sh We got to talk about it. 
This look like a t a whole infant, right? Oh no 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 no, that is not an infant because the infants don't sit up. So that's like a toddler. Don't know how long little mama been there, and I don't know if this baby fat or is she pregnant again. I have no idea. But she lives at the Super 8. Mm -mm -mm. We watch pack up their lives at this. Yeah, that's 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 what I want to stop. Mm -hmm. watching. Mavoni is one of dozens. We watch pack up right now. Is this out of one room? Shouldn't that be like overcrowding space or something like that? Or I know people got to bring all of their stuff when they live in the hotels. I get it. That's too much of all of your stuff. And I do understand people cannot afford afford um, storage shelters. and Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's like an extra bill. And a lot of people, they don't even have vehicles to get back and forth to their stuff and back to the hotels. So it's a problem. I, I just... We their lives at the same hotel where a man was found dead earlier this week. Security guards went door to door. Oh, yeah, she do live there. Telling people to leave. We got people that have been here for years. That... That's your problem. That's your problem. Especially in Georgia. Georgia. Georgia rent has been increasingly going up over the months and the years. But when you say people have been staying there for years, that's poor monkey management and poor meat management. Y'all couldn't be working and getting your money up to find what was, and I know this, you could have got a place for five, five, fifty, six, six, fifty, seven, seven, fifty, eight, eight, fifty. That's what you could have got a few years ago in George. I know that for a fact. And y'all been staying there for years. You got families here, kids, everything. Like people actually live here. People actually live here, so that's what I'm talking about. Shout out the lady for the five dollar cash up. Say shout out from the seven five seven and the drain camp. Preach, pass. I appreciate you. Shout out to Kermit for the for, Ker, Kermit for the five dollar super chat. Say gas up, food up, rent up, beans and rice diet over here. I'm trying to tell you, boy, we got to save. We got to save, save, save. Try to keep your money. I'm trying to tell you. Oh. They didn't have those second options. So why is this happening? Because the Super 8 was operating without a permit. And the county and the city of College Park are investigating code violations. Could, could the mayor of the city could have known anything about this situation, knowing that once we send law enforcement around there, we got to put people out. I came up with a whole plan in like seconds. Okay. They don't have a permit, so they cannot, they cannot function in this capacity without a permit. All right, cool. Got it. Can we go down there and show them the bill that is going to cost them to get up the date with the permit? And if we're going to put fines on them, let's put the fines on them too. Let, 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 let. Let's put the fines on them too. And if we just so have to, we need to make a payment plan. What's, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we just have to, we might have to make a payment plan on what they owe us or something like that. But since this is a business, a super eight, they should be able to have that paper to have the permit. But we need to go down there with the permit and the fines at the same time. Here's your new one. Do you want to purchase it now? And here's, here's your fine for not being in compliance, for not being up, up to date. Your fine is $5,000. All right, cool. Your new, your new permit is twenty five hundred. All right. Why y'all couldn't have did it like that? Can somebody get me in contact with them, them at the municipality or something like that? I had an excellent idea, just that quick. Hotel management, who would not talk to me on camera, said those violations stem from a fire in December, but a twenty twenty one inspection report published before the fire cited repeated violations of live insects in multiple rooms and dirty or damaged walls and furniture. So why didn't y'all charge them then? Or I do know, 
They give people chances to fix the problem and all that right there. But I understand that y'all give the citations. But why didn't y'all come back and find them then and look at their permits and shit like that right there? Or did y'all do that? I have no idea. Shout out to Latonya for the $2 cash shout. Say, I'm in the hood. Three bedroom. Oh, Jesus. Say, I'm in the hood. A three bedroom is $325 in Al Albany, Georgia. Make sure y'all heard that. Three bedroom, $325 in Albany, Georgia. That's what's up. I rolled rain in my bathroom. I showed that to help inspect the when they came. Say, it rained. In his bathroom. Player, players. This is poor meat management out here in these streets. It really is. On furniture. My room rained in my bathroom. I showed that to the health inspector when they came. But what frustrates Martez Dukes Dang. the most? Super 8 was running a business when it didn't have a permit. Martez showed me this $60 bill he paid last Thursday. He just paid 60 last Thursday. Just paid that. Two days after, the Board of Health cited the Super 8 for operating without a permit. A Fulton County spokesperson told me, quote, a permit. My Not Jonesboro. Um, um, got to be more careful. Um, underneath, is it close to Douglasville? Close to Douglasville, because McKinfolk was staying up there. Hey man, he had a spot for six, six, six twenty-five. I think it was a two-bedroom. Um, what is the spot under Douglasville? What is the hell? Is it? Hey man, do I gotta pull up a map or something? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't remember Douglasville. Nah, nah, nah. What is under or right next to Douglasville? Say, yeah, Albany, Georgia is that cheap for a reason, too. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Doug, Douglas, hold up, hold up, real, real quick. Douglasville, Georgia. If I could just pull it up and see it. Say, Megan, Georgia, Austin. No, 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 like, like, it is like right, right on, well, hold up, hold up. Douglasville. Or oh, is that Douglasville? Shut up. Uh... Oh my God, I can't fuck with living up there. Nah, I can't even find that goddamn thing. Um, well, nah, 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 nah. Next to Villa Rica, like bottom, like, shit. I think it's 10, 20 minutes or 10, 20, or 30 minutes south of Villa Rica, I think. Sammy said, shout out to Sammy for the $2 super chat. Sup, Pastor? I appreciate that right there. I appreciate you being here. Um, Emmett, we going to get it. What? What is it? It's one of the small towns, too. Um, Emmett, hold up. I think I'm too high. Um, right next to Villa Rooker. Man. No, not, not, not. Marietta, not Union City. Um, oh my God. Um, uh, Union City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the hell is Villa Rick? Damn, I'm trying to pull Villa Rick up. Cause damn it. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta get this right before I move on. I gotta get this right. Say Temple wasn't Carrollton. Carrollton. And this was a few years ago in Carrollton, 625 or 625 or 650. Yeah. Yep. This was, but this was a, a few years ago now. It was, a, it was a few years ago. Not, not saying now. I'm not doing that because there's a lot of people in um, Carrollton that is living in the hotels also because now they can't find places. You know what I'm saying? So, we just got to be careful, y'all. Shout out to Tanisha for the $5 super chat. Say, okay, I know it wasn't the ATL. <laughs> you know they want to live in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just, because because we just be saying Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Which, 
everything ain't Atlanta, you know. <laughs> Until then, everyone must go. Ready or not. At least he had a van to put his stuff in. You know what I'm saying? Listen, oh, we got to get you to the second video and we'll be up out of here. But this is a real, real problem um, because the news, they went out there twice. They went out there twice. So we have another news clip from them. Um, Excuse me. Shout out to Stevie for the $5 cash out. Say for the afternoon collection plate. I appreciate that right there. Y'all, let's go on and get into it. Hold on, hold on. We got the sound up. Bam, there we go. New tonight, residents at a motel in Clayton County are getting kicked out of their homes. They say that management didn't even give them ample notification. We're talking about the Super 8 Motel on Old National Highway Old in National College Bay. Park. Fox 5 reporter Christopher King is talking to neighbors there tonight. People who live at this Super 8 Motel say... Shout out to Sammy for the $5 Super Chat. Say poor meat management passive. That's what it is. And management only told them this afternoon they have to move out immediately today. Now, why is that? They tell us the motel failed a health inspection. One woman we speak with says she has nowhere to go. Shout out to Quincy X for the five dollar cash shop. Say, damn it, Biden bit ass. <laughs> Biden bit ass got me spending one hundred twenty dollars at the pump. Ooh, that sound like it hurt. I'm telling you. We're being yeah. evicted without notice. Jessica Roman doesn't know what to do. What will you do? I don't know. Or where to turn. We don't have anywhere to go. Roman says her fiance called her at work to tell her Super 8 is kicking them out and everyone else who lives here. I found out at 12.30 at my job, so I had to leave my job early to come here and figure out somewhere to go. Roman says management sent a maintenance worker to deliver the news. They just told you today you have to leave? Yes. Is that enough time? Absolutely not. It's not enough time to even make phone calls or fill out an application or have an interview for anywhere to go. Roman says the worker told her the motel failed a health inspection. Never even told us there was going to be a health inspection. Um, never told us that they failed. Never told us anything. They failed a health inspection and the uh, health department told them they had to close immediately. Is this fair to you? No. Fox 5 News. We tried to speak with the people in the front office. Residents tell us that you only gave them, you only told them today that they Sir, had to leave. I don't want to comment any on the camera. Well, can, can I ask you why you only gave them Sir. from this afternoon to leave? Sir, I cannot comment on the camera. Anything can you share down, please? They would not talk. We'd like to give you your chance to, to talk yeah, with we, us. We, we don't have a permission to talk over the camera. Now Roman, her fiance, and their two dogs must find somewhere else to live fast. What will you do tonight? I don't know yet. <laughs> I have no idea. We saw a number of families packing up to move out. Fox 5 will stay on top of the story and work to get answers. In College Park, Christopher King. Fox 5 News. New tonight, residents at a motel in Clayton County are getting say immigrant owners and kicked out of their homes. They say that management didn't even give them ample notification. They say kicked out of their homes. That's a false positive, I think it is. Damn it, I think I'm educated. Um, um, that's a false statement. That was not their homes. It's not homes. We're talking it's like an apartment. Well, I guess we can do well. An apartment is kind of like a home. Your house is a home or something like that right there. But apartment, is, damn it, nope, 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 because we not finna be lying to the kids out here. Apartment is not a home. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. A hotel is not a home. About the Super 8 Motel on Old National Highway in College Park. Fox 5 reporter Christopher King is talking to neighbors there mm. tonight. Mm -mm -mm. People who live at this Super 8 motel say it's a lot of poor monkey management and a lot of poor meat management that's going on out here because y'all is really, really living in these places. And hell, it might be cheap. It, well, no, 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 no. Let me not do that right there. It's more expensive to stay in the hotels on the weekly thing because if I'm not mistaken, a lot of them is like 3350 
for the week. Shout out to Tanisha for the five dollar super chat. Say I can't keep giving you my husband money, but I'm gonna send you some through the PayPal. Hold on, <laughs> that was funny right there. I I cannot keep giving you my husband money, but I'm going to send you some through PayPal because you're so informative. I appreciate that right there. Yes, I do. That that was funny. I. I appreciate both of y'all. That's what's up. Management only told them this afternoon they have to move out immediately today. Now, why is that? They tell us the motel failed a health inspection. One woman we speak with says she has nowhere to go. Shout out to Kay for the $5 super chat. Say, hey, South Carolina's up in here. Listen, 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 listen. They failed a health inspection. But, but, but listen, did every unit fail um, um, failed the health inspection why everybody got to go i don't i don't i don't understand it say willie you gonna get that lady divorced then she gonna be out here she gonna be out of her home no 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 prison listen listen to your husband she good peoples you better keep her boy i'm trying to tell you something <laughs> We're being evicted without notice. Do y'all know that they moving out of if they live in a apartment? That means they have gathered. They have gathered items. They have gathered items that you would be buying in a apartment and or a house. Why is y'all buying shit as if this really where you gonna continue to live. I don't I don't understand. Well, so the that. woman doesn't know what to do. What will you do? That's a sad face to have. When you ask what you gonna do and you your face, your face is, I don't know. When you don't have an answer. That's a problem. Say, well, I believe this is the same hotel that was running prostitution out of. Oh, Jesus. I'm pretty sure it is. Made it from uh, Oklahoma to 405. I appreciate you for joining. Y'all Y'all get the lights up over 500. Appreciate that right there. Here we go. I don't know. Or where to turn. We don't have anywhere to go. Roman said too much stuff. Shout out to Tanisha again for the twelve dollar donation through the PayPal. Just like she said, I appreciate that right there. Say this is bad, bad poor monkey management and poor meat management. I'm, I'm trying to take look at y'all. Y'all just got too much stuff though. And I do understand you don't want to throw away stuff that you bought from the last place that you was at when you finally found the hotel to step to um to settle in because maybe maybe you couldn't find a place fat fast enough and you had to go to the hotel but y'all also got two dogs i know y'all love your animals i get it the animals is like children i do understand that well hell they have children inside the super eight so mm, it is what it is Shout out to Latonya for the two dollar cash. Yeah. So if they can pay a week, they can pay a month. I'm trying to take little, little, and and that's why I had them said that weekly rate at these at at these motels. You should be able to be in an apartment somewhere at damn it renting a house or something. It's just the two of y'all. Well, y'all specifically, it's just two of y'all and the two dogs. Y'all really need the one bedroom. I know how hard it's, damn it, it's hard. It's hard to find because it's too many people that's looking for the same thing. But when y'all settling in and settling down and getting comfortable at hotels, this is a problem, man. I'm telling you. It's kicking them out and everyone else who lives here. I found out at 12.30 at my job, so I had to leave my job early. So now she had to leave and she lost money. She had to leave and lose money to come around and move. So I was driving an Uber and I saw the staff at this same hotel where the watchers, <clears throat> keepers of the prostitution was there, or the prostitutes was there in... 
in the bluff of Atlanta, Georgia, I believe a one bedroom is 420. Be more careful. That's what I'm saying. Say some is 275 a week in in, in Atlanta. Shh. In Orlando, you can go for 350, 375 a week. To come here and figure out somewhere to go. Roman says management sent a maintenance worker to deliver the news. They just told you today you have to leave? Yes. Is that enough time? Absolutely. At least they got an up to date. At least they got an up to date car, and I hope that it's paid off. Say, so somebody tell me it's a hotel that said $1,500, $2,000 a month in Jackson, Georgia. My reply was in Jackson, where three bedroom, one or two bath houses are five hundred to eight fifty to nine hundred. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Say so it's four hundred dollars in Colorado. Jeez, a one bedroom on the west side of three hundred a month. Shout out to Sammy for the five dollar super chat. Say too many evictions. Why they can't get an appointment? Absolutely not. It's not 450 a week in Tallahassee, which is not in Atlanta. Not enough time to even make phone calls or fill out an application or have an interview for anywhere to go. Roman says the worker told her the motel failed a health inspection. Never even told us there was going to be a health inspection. Um, never told us that they failed. Never told us anything. They failed a health inspection and the uh, health department told them they had to close immediately. That that is that is now now depending on what the health inspection found because the only thing that I could think of for them to close it all down is mold mold mildew and shit like that right now because if it's mold throughout the whole thing they gotta knock that bit down you know what I'm saying and that's an immediately that's an immediate shutdown. Because you're putting people's lives in danger as you've been putting people's lives in the, in danger. Say $600 a month in Virginia. That's what's, man. Shout out to B. Martin 1976 BM for the $5 super chat. I appreciate that right there. Say, say Tallahassee ain't in Atlanta. That's what's up. Is this fair to you? No. Fox 5. Rats, mold, and roaches. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, that's an instant concern. That's that's like you you really putting people lives in danger. So I kind of understand that kind of sort of uh, news. We tried to speak with the people in the front office. Residents tell us that you only gave them. You only told them today that they Sorry, had to leave. I don't want to talk about that. Anymore. I don't want to talk to you right now, pimp. Damn it. We failed it. And that's it. Everybody got to go. But we keeping their money, though. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't, we ain't. We ain't returning no damn money, and we ain't talking to nobody. The camera. Well, can, can I ask you why you only gave him from this afternoon to leave, sir? I cannot command on the camera anything. Can you share that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Why did you only give them this time to leave? Oh, so maybe they were supposed to been shut down. Probably like a week ago, a few days ago, or something like that, and maybe they were just trying to get them last few dollars. It's possible. Say $2,500 a month, Rhode Island for a motel room. Say, I'm a master welder that travels. Jesus. Okay. They would not talk. We'd like to give you your chance to, to talk yeah, with we, us. We, we don't have Talking don't mean nothing right now. It's done, it's done. Make sure the dog over the camera. Now Roman, her fiance, and their two dogs must find somewhere else to live fast. Oh, that is not going to fit in that car but you ain't got nothing else to put it in. I get it. This is a sad state of, e a sad state of events for a lot of Americans. A lot of people is having problems. And yeah, yeah, this is so crazy. I'm just, this, oh my God. What will you do tonight? I don't know yet. <laughs> that face right there, just a, I don't know face, but I'm trying to hold it together right, right now while I'm talking to you. Especially if they don't have a few dollars in their pocket right now. Shout out to Maria for the $3 cash shout. Say Maria from Arkansas, I appreciate you again for being here. Listen, when you ain't got a few dollars, but you're working, 
but you ain't got a few dollars. This is a problem because living in the hotel room, you have to understand, you don't pay water or lights. All you paying is rent and you buying your grocery. If you can't save after that, you got a problem. You have a major problem. Shout out to Latonya for the $2 cash out. Say hush. That's what's up. I have no idea. We saw a number of families packing up to move out. Fox 5 will say that baby embarrassed and clueless. Absolutely correct. Let me, let me, let me do this right here. What do you do tonight? I don't. Why, why are they not talking to the man? I don't understand it, but, uh. Oh, no. I'm going to close it out with this right here. You, you. You don't never want to find yourself in a position like this. I know we all fall short of glory out here in these streets. Shout out to Tanisha for the $2 super chat. Say, I was taught as a woman I can do bad by myself. Boy, it's hard out here. And you're absolutely correct. Do not get yourself caught in a situation to where you can't get yourself out of. A lot of things we cannot control. A lot of things we cannot control. But with the things that we can, make sure that we don't lose control over it. I know we like to spend money. We like to go here. We like to park. We like to have a good time. We like to live, which I get it. But if you ain't got you some paper stacked aside, if you not um, um, thinking of better situations to put yourself in, if you're not investing, if 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 you haven't thought about if this shit go south, what I'm going to do? You're going to fail. If you do not spend time of thinking, what if this happened? What if this happened? What if I lose my job? How much money should you have to make it for a year without working? If I'm in a relationship and we both work, we both, we both benefit from being in this relationship and we live together, just because we get in arguments and spats, shit like that, why should we separate and move? Now we got the, uh, um, 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 now it's 100% on both of you. Because of our pride, a lot of times, and because of you can do it on your own mentality that we really don't look for the future or look into the future. Yeah, we mad at each other and all that shit. I don't like you. You don't like me. But look here. We can use this situation as an investment. We don't have to sleep with each other. None of that. We can still be in the same place. Just at the beginning of the month, we both need to have our money here so things get paid. And at the same time, because you're not paying 100%, you're paying 50. That means you can save 50. Shout out to Passion for the $2 cash app. Say 4K at a Motel 6 in Palm Springs, California. Jesus, this is a problem. A real, real problem, y'all. So hopefully, I've put something on your heart to think about. I know, I know people go through cheating and all of this fly shit right here. Listen, some time is best to stay where you're at until you can, like, save an abundance. And then you make your move. I know your heart hurt and all that shit. I can't be around this person. Well, listen, spend a week or two over at your mama them house. Just don't give up where you live at. Get past that shit, which is going to, it, it takes time the more that you is around somebody to get past anything. I get it. But we is in the time to where people are still losing jobs. Rent going up. People getting put out. People being homeless on the spot. And just because you think you got your shit together because you got this good job, I can be by myself. 
remember you can lose that good job. And to everyone, if you just work in a job and you solely depending on your job, you put yourself right, right now, you just put yourself in a position to fail. I appreciate y'all for rocking with a player. That's the midday news. That's what's up. What did I do? Did they cut a player off? I know they didn't cut me off, or did I just click on the wrong thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. My bad. Thank y'all for joining me for the midday news. I appreciate everybody. Please remember to go around to the willowwilliamshow.com. Y'all check out a few things. Click on the gear, gear link if you would like to support a player. Um, If you'd like to see what we call the event videos, please go around to the Patreon, the Willie Williams Show. I appreciate all y'all for joining me. Thank you for watching, viewing, sharing, thumbs up, and PayPal, and cash app, and super chatting, and just being a part of the whole comment section and, and, and becoming a member. I appreciate y'all. We'll be back for the 8 o'clock show. Man, I hope that I helped and educated and gave y'all the proper news that was needed out here in these streets. Y'all have a wonderful one. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. I'm out of here, y'all. Here we go. <laughs>